Right, welcome to this army overview for orcs. Uh, there is already one on the channel, but my orc army uh, has been revamped. Uh, it's been quite a lot of work uh, being done. Some new units coming in, new vehicles, uh, and then sort of a new strategy for them as well. I do like orcs, uh, one of my favorite armies uh, on the channel. They've been a joy, to, absolute joy to collect. Uh, really good fun to paint, uh, and then great fun to use in games as well. And I want to see orcs do well. They're one of the, the main factions uh, you only have to see the new Dawn of War trailer, you've got Space Marines, Eldar, and then Orcs. It just shows you that Orcs are one of the major, major factions. And yet, I don't know many people that collect them, um, and they seem, despite being one of the major races, uh, a bit a bit neglected. They don't seem to perform too well. Uh, people say the Codex isn't very strong. Uh, so, I've taken an interest in them, and I want to see Orcs do well. I want to see them do well on this channel, um, and to become a force to be reckoned with. But it's Fair bit of battle experience with them, took them out on campaign and uh, on both channels. And then we've done uh, over on the plus channel there, there's a, a army development video where we started to break down the army to see where the weaknesses were. Uh, and then uh, theorize on some new units and a new list and new strategy. So from that and from help from subscribers uh, and comments in the different battle reports and so on. Uh, I've developed a new list for the Orcs. I think it's a lot stronger than the previous one, uh, but still trying to keep that theme um, for uh, the previous army that I had. So you'll st still see a shadow of that. Just sort of, when I come to revamping armies, I sort of I don't like to just get rid of a whole force and then just invest in in completely new army. I like to sort of keep the main stuff, the good stuff I like, and then just add in a few units. And just by adding a, a few units, you can actually really change your army around you know, and give it a nice uh, refresh. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna run through the codex. Uh, it's not really a codex review, I'm just gonna pick out the units that I've chosen. I'm gradually gonna build this army up, uh, talk about overall strategy and battle plan, uh, and then we'll zoom out and you get to see the whole army um, and see how it looks. So uh, just to mention about orcs, there's a, a painting tutorial for them on this channel here. I'll show you how to paint one of the regular orc boys. Um, so, one like this, not this one, but one like it, um, from start to finish. Uh, so if you like the look of this orc army, you can copy the same style and technique. I'll show you exactly how to do it in that full uh, length painting tutorial. Then over on the Plus channel, uh, there is an in-depth painting tutorial, and I'll show you how to paint one of the uh, bigger orc vehicles. A lot more of a challenge, uh, but I'll show you how to apply the technique uh, to that. And there's loads of hints and tips in that in-depth painting tutorial. Uh, there's advanced tactic on the plus channel as well, plus all of the extra uh, exclusive battle reports uh, for the orcs, plus grand strategies as well, where we uh, go a lot deeper into uh, the orc tactica and units and actually build the list up from there. But uh, orc army overview here. Uh, I know it has a big following. The previous one had a lot of views on the channel, so I'm excited about this one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is going to run through just in the order of the codexes. So we're going to make a start uh, with HQs. So, for HQ, uh, not really much of a change. I've kept Gut Ripper. There's no way I can leave him out of the army. Such a focal point for the Orcs. I uh, had some great fun uh, with him. He's killed a number of key characters. Uh, he's been rumoured to have been killed a number of times, uh, but he seems to have survived, uh, even in the, the worst of circumstances. So, Gut Ripper's in. He's 130 points. Just got that brilliant strength 10. Uh, power claw there uh, with shred. It's got the attack squig, feel no pain, and then the bellowing tyrant. Uh, I just think he's excellent. Only 130 points, so uh, he's a good uh, asset to have in the force. So uh, with this orc army, uh, what you do, what you do with any army you're trying to revamp, is you take your current list and then you stand back and you think, right, what units are performing very well? and then what units you really like to keep in, you know, no matter how good they are. Uh, and then you sort of look at units that you think, well, maybe I could drop those out, and then that'll free up some points. And when you do that, when you start shaving off some points, dropping a few units, it creates uh, a nice block of points that you can spend on new stuff. Uh, so for the Orcs, from the previous list, uh, li the previous list had six killer cans, uh, 310 points was the total for them. It was a lot of points. Found the killer cans were a bit too slow, um, very slow. In fact, just walking around, and then you know four missile shots just from them, and two grotzukas when they could get close enough. The firepower for 300 points just wasn't that impressive. So 
do love the models, but I've dropped the killer cans. That's a massive amount of points there. 310 points freed up for that. Uh, then, just run for the units I dropped here. Decided to drop the bomber. Um, again, lovely model, uh, but just with this new strategy, decided to drop the bomber. Um, so 135 points plus a few upgrades saved there. Then the Storm Boys are dropped, another about another 100 points, just a unit of 10, just not enough of them. And too soft, again, blown away virtually every time. Uh, which is a shame, again, probably my favourite Orc models uh, in the whole range. So, but uh, drop those, 100, uh, about 110 points odd for them. So, freeing up a fair amount of points. Uh, then, drop the Burner Boys, that's about 80 points, just a small unit of 5, just seems a bit of a waste. And then I also dropped the couple of mechs as well, 15 points, about 30 points there. So totaling it all up, gave you about 700 points uh, to play with. That's a fair amount there, so that I could spend it out on a fair few new upgrades and units. You're going to see that, um, how it's changed from uh, the previous list. So Gut Represent, he's not in the, the codex there, he's just in one of the supplements, um, but he is in. So. The overall, I'll tell you the strategy first, and then you see how the army is built around that. Uh, the original force was split into two halves. Uh, the first part of the Orc army was for sp speed and to get into combat. So it was things like uh, Orc boys inside trucks, uh, uh, war bikers, the uh, storm boys as well. Uh, they were meant to push up really quick, uh, to pin the opponent down to time up. And then the heavier, clunkier stuff like killer cans, score cannot, and so on to follow up behind. But what I found happened, you can check out the battle reports on, on both channels for this, is often the front fast line was dealt with quite well by the opponent because there's only half an orc army heading that towards them. So they were able to use the whole of their army a lot of the time to try and deal with half an orc army, and it was a struggle. Um, but still, it showed promising signs of working pretty good. So. That did seem to be the most effective part for the Orcs, just that speed of moving up so quick and then overwhelming the opponent, but just didn't have enough of the Orc army doing that. So what I've decided to do, and talk about talk about a lot more in the Grand Strategies uh, video, is to, instead of having two waves, just combine all the Orcs together uh, into one big wave assault. So it's a massive wave of Orcs uh, pushing up the table, and then that way, there's so much orc stuff that the opponent just cannot deal with all of it. You know, and at least half of it or more can get through and then cause the damage. That's the overall battle plan. It's very, very fits very, very well with the orcs, fits in nicely with their style. Just this headlong charge at the opponent, whatever cut time of opponent it is, even if it's a close combat army, don't care, just drive straight at them. Um, and then especially suited for fighting against sort of defensive armies, you know, tau Space Marines to a degree, and then especially things like Imperial Guard, just to swamp them. Um, and hopefully it could bring about some great massacres, some great victories uh, there if it works well. But that's the plan, so try to invest points into units that can do that and support that attack. So, bearing that in mind, Gut Ripper will fit in nicely. Now if he's transported inside one of the vehicles, he can get out and cause damage uh, in the opponent's deployment zone. So uh, the other HQ I've gone for is the Weird Boy. Uh, so re really like the model and the rules, and he's good fun. Um, I think having an army that's fun uh, is especially important for the Orcs. And the Weird Boy, he's redeemed himself a number of times. He does do cool stuff. Um, sometimes, it, sometimes it's a complete failure. Uh, but 70 points, 45 plus 25 for uh, uh, Master Level 2. Got myself a nice uh, HQ there with potential, because some of the psychic powers for Orcs are utterly brutal, they're brilliant. Yeah, you know, power vomit is superb. Um, so he's in. And that is kept that's total there of uh, 200 points. So my HQ is kept nice and low uh, and that means I'm able to invest more points in bulking the Orc army out. The whole idea of I'm doing a one line attack is to bulk the army out um, so that there's just, just loads of units the opponent just because you know turn one to move up is, is good because usually turn one's not that impressive for whoever you're fighting against for shooting wise and that's a window for the orcs just to push up I reckon I can be in contact with pretty much any unit on the table by turn two 
uh, with that's great potential there. So that's HQs. So next is uh, troops. I'm going to cover a couple of variations to this list that I might go for uh, in time. Uh, so Orc Boys is next. So uh, here's one of the conversions here. It's quite a straightforward one, just a, a ram there from uh, a reinforced ram for the Orcs, and that's come from a Lehman Russ, the old Lehman Russ kit. And they left off some of the plates, used them on other conversions, uh, swapped the gun round on here, and then put a uh, a rocket set on there. So 35 points, including the ram as a transport. And then I've gone for the heavy armor orc boys in units of 10. It's a nice size, it's not too big, not too small. So we've got uh, seven, eight, nine, and then famous. Orc knobs then. So it's a, a hundred points for ten, then ten points for the orc knob, five points for his big chopper. I'm gonna, still going to go with those, and then uh, a boss pole as well. Very important just to help them out with morale. Um, so not very much. 120 points for that unit. Nice bulk to fill out the orc army, but nice and cheap. If they get blown away, it's 120 points. Not so bad. And then total 155 points when you put them inside the transport here. And then for the truck. What I've done is uh, I've kept the big shooters, uh, the, the actual, that part of the kit on. I thought about, I wanted to change them for rockets. I thought about cutting them all off, but I thought it would just disfigure the whole thing, be a shame. So what I've done is I've just added on uh, spare missile bits here, or rocket sets. Uh, so I've done a set just hanging on the side. And then uh, for the others, I've just attached one to the side of the big shooter there. And then I've done the same uh, for the other truck as well. Uh, and that just means I can keep the big shooters if I decide to go back to them, uh, but I, I am representing the rocket launcher uh, there uh, on the kit. And I can just declare that to my opponent. He can see that there's a rocket on there. Maybe um, if I take the rocket upgrade, this is just fine trace around to perhaps guide the rocket or something like that. Um, but it's rockets I'm going for uh, on these Orc trucks. Uh, that strength 8 shot, I know it's only a 5 or 6 to hit, but that strength 8 shot, AP 3 range 24, I think is really good. Um, so it's free to do it. Uh, and going into a bit of the strategy now for the Orcs, one of the struggles they've had is dealing with flyers. Um, your options are to maybe, there's a number of options. First one which I tried to do is take another Orc flyer, uh, take an Orc flyer to try and deal with other flyers, but the Orc flyers I don't think have really cut out for that, not particularly well. So that didn't seem to work too well. The other option is to take some units that are dedicated to anti-flyer. So you've got the, the mech guns you could take, or you, maybe the looters. But then I think if I have an anti-flyer unit, then the opponent's just going to take that out, and you've lost your anti-flyer capability. So instead, the third option I've gone for is I think the Orc Rockets uh, are excellent, an excellent weapon. Very cheap to give to Orc units as upgrades. You know, five points a time usually. So what I've tried to do is spread out as many rockets as I can uh, in this Orc force. And then just by sheer weight of numbers, if I snap fire uh, at, at flyers, I'm bound to get a few hits. And once I get those hits, uh, they're going to come in at strength 8 AP3. And that should be a, a decent enough strength to deal with any flyer. Um, so if I, you know, if I can get 20 or more rockets somewhere in the force and then just snap fire them up if I need to, uh, then that might may be a good way of dealing with flyers. And because they're all spread around different units, uh, the opponent's going to struggle uh, to eliminate all of them uh, from uh, the table. So that's the plan, and part to fulfil part of that objective, I've gone for rockets on the free trucks. So there's three rockets straight away, one on each. Uh, obviously great, I can fire them at ground targets as well. Um, and because, another thing, because they're spread out, um, I think a lot of the time, opponent's not going to bother jinking. You know, one rocket, I'm going to snap fire up and say, I'm not going to jink. But then you get that hit, and that strength eight shot can potentially do some damage. So that's the idea uh, behind taking the rockets. So, oh boys, now what I've done in this army um, is gone for, instead of two units of 10, I've gone for three units of 10, all equipped the same, 
and all mechanized. Uh, so three blobs of 10, all in trucks, and it really fills the oil coming out. You'll see it when we zoom out later. I'm not gonna fill up the, the whole table with them, but imagine uh, this here times three uh, is pretty good. So that's 155 points a time, times it by three is 465 points, which is below 500 points, and I've, I've filled out the orc force uh, pretty good there. It's all about that, just filling the table up with orcs. And the idea of loads of green skins fits nicely in with the style and the fluff of the orcs, so that's been good to add uh, another unit there. And their objective secured both the orcs and the truck as well, so I've actually got six units that are objective secured, uh, pretty good. And if you watch the battle reports, you know, they're not uh, amazing, but they're, I think I rate Orc boys, I think they're decent enough. Uh, a combat between Orc uh, boys and Necron Wraiths, I just, another strategy that seems to work well with them is to pile up Orc units on decent enemy units, so two, two Orc boys units charged into the Wraiths dealt with them pretty good, uh, just by that sheer weight of numbers and attacks. You know, you've got over 40 attacks here on the charge, I believe. Yeah, two attacks each, weapon, charged. Yeah, furious charge, just that sheer weight. So two units charging, you've got over 80 attacks coming in. So uh, that's troops for the Orcs, and then uh, the transport capacity is 12, so I'm able to put characters in there. If I want, I can put the weird boy with one of these units, no problem. That's all, if he needs to. So left out burner, boys. Uh, this is the, the, the big excitement here for me, and that's been putting tank, tank busters together. So originally I never had them. Um, just a lot of all players will say that tank busters are one of the most overlooked units, but they're also really good. And, but what put me off was the actual models. I really just don't like uh, the way these have come out, just the proportions of them just look wrong. Um, they're uh, they're quite fixed with their configurations, um, and just quite hard to track down or to get hold of the, the fine cast. Now you have to look for them in lead. But looked around on the internet, a number of people doing conversion work. So well, maybe I can do some conversions. And that's what I've done. You've seen that perhaps in the previous uh, videos. I released some conversion video uh, on the regular channel. You can see them up close uh, in the Advanced Tactic on the Plus channel. Uh, but we'll bring them on here now. Bring them one unit of Tank Busters. I've gone for units of eight. And they're just uh, like the, the Burner Boy kit, converted with the ends cut off, uh, and their rockets and missiles stuck on uh, for most of these. So uh, more details on the conversion video on the channel here. Uh, but I've gone for units of eight. They've all got their rockets, so I think they look great. There's four. There's five. There's another one. And then uh, there's the knob. Like that, he's got a rocket as well. And then here's one of the looters uh, converted with the end cut off and rockets stuck on the end. Another way that you can do uh, tank hunters or tank busters as well. So there's eight for them. Uh, that is 104 points again nice cheap unit there's eight shots there strength eight so pretty good upgrades i have taken the orc knob for 10 points uh giving him a boss pole for five points and then for 15 points three lots of five i have gone for bomb squeaks the maximum amount you can take and uh there's the original it's one of the lead ones i've tracked that down on ebay uh, I've got two of them, and then I looked up uh, Warhammer Squigs here, and then just just stuck grenades in their mouths or on top here, stick bombs. Um, so these are Squigs that have been given a diet of stick bombs, are ready to explode. So there's three of those, and that they they don't actually count as being on the table in you know, actual models, but you, you place them on, and it helps to bulk out the unit. There, they look pretty good. Uh, so, tank busters are in. That gives a total for them of 134 points. Nice cheap unit. Again, another orc unit that, if they're blown away and lost, it's only 134 points. So I'm trying to distribute the value all around the orc army. So there's not this one Death Star unit that the opponent deals with, and then you know the orc army shattered. Instead, the value is spread about all over the place. 
So 134 points. Now they are vulnerable, 6 plus save, so they need some kind of protection. So what I've gone for is looted wagons, and again, conversion video on the channel for these, and then up close you can see them and the tactica for them uh, on the plus channel and the advanced tactica. But there's one of them there. That's very nice, it's just a lean rust conversion, so they've looted a rust here, stuck an alt turret on top, that's the spare one from the battle wagon. So, really, really happy with how he's come out. And now uh, you've got these guys inside this. This counts as open top, so this is a mobile gun platform for them. And for this one, the upgrades I've gone for is dozer blade. They're 37 points a time, but they're armor 11 front and side. Giving them a dozer blade, uh, a uh, reinforced ram, so you get that reroll through cover, and then 30 points for the kill cannon. So it's a little tank in its own right. It can chuck out strength 7, large blast, AP free shot. Uh, with ordnance as well, uh, so you get that extra dice for penetrating armor. So I rate these, but only 72 points again if it's destroyed. And these guys inside, and they can move six, fire, and the guys inside can fire at normal ballistic skill. Another roll for these is anti flyer. So eight shots there, and in sixes, you're going to get one or two hits there, and then you know, force your opponent to jink if he doesn't get a hit and some damage. Good. Uh, so this configuration times by two, gone for exactly the same twice. There's two of these mobile gun platforms here. Uh, so these are designed to move up with the orcs, the rest of the orc army as it advances, but to help and lay down fire support. Uh, so you've got the orc units pushing through, and then uh, these following up behind a nice range 24 and providing, you know, pinning down, destroying key targets. Maybe there's a dreadnought that could cause trouble for the orc boys. Send these in behind shooting up at range 24 and then causing trouble uh, for that armor 12 uh, vehicle walker. That kind of idea with them. The tank hunters can get re-rolls in their armor penetration. Those squigs just to add to their reliability for shooting. Twos to hit, three shots there from them. Uh, now people are saying the FAQ have been warned uh, that you're only going to get one attack now for grenades in combat. So instead of all eight of these using their melter bombs uh, only one of them can, I believe, if, if this is what's going to happen. That is absolutely tragic for this unit. Uh, so, I'm still going to take them anyway, I still think they're good. I s think these are going to be more of a stay inside their transport and give fire support from inside as their main function. It'll be quite rare now, I think, that you'll see these trying to get into combat. So, uh, yeah, combat I think is going to be unlikely. It's probably going to be something they avoid now. I would have loved to have charged eight of these into you know an imperial knight or something cause trouble but just doesn't look like it's going to happen now you know could do it but very difficult uh with just one roll of the dice now the option is to start taking tank hammers i could give one to the orc knob that's 15 points to do it and then as has been pointed out by one of the subscribers i'll lose the rocket and it's one less shot uh, for the units so i think i'll play to the strength of um the ability to shoot the rockets, which is a shame. It is a shame, but I still think there's there's good potential in there shooting wise. So this lot times two, and that's using up you know a fair amount of those points. But I I think they'll be they'll be a valuable asset to the orcs. The other cool thing about them is these moving up be slightly slightly behind the main line. I think the opponent's attention will be at the front units, and these will be sneaking around more at the back, being ignored. I think a fair bit leaving them to shoot and cause damage uh, without being you know, hassled too much. That's elites, two elite slots used up, uh, one left, Mega Knobs, one of my favourite looking units, one of the best sculpted units, they're just so so cool, they're so huge, they look great. So the original unit I had uh, was a unit of three, and I found they did okay, they did well. I got the impression that three of them is just not quite enough. A unit of three was just a, a little bit weak, a little bit low on numbers. So what I've gone for, the points I've available to spend, is I've added in another Mega Knob here. And then for this one, I have given him the Kill Saws. Same strength and AP2 on the charge, uh, but what's crucial for this guy is Armor Bane. So 
you know, you suddenly find you need to charge in against a Land Raider, Armor 14, this guy uh, is the one that could cause loads of trouble. Um, just bury him in the unit. That then bulks them out to four, and that I think is a nicer size. So, uh, extra attack as well for him. So four attacks, and then five attacks on the charge. So, happy to have that. I'm happy to bulk them out a bit more. Not go over the top. Um, and then, uh, so, uh, ten points for that one. And then maybe this guy or another guy I'll make that, then I'll give him a boss pole uh, for the rerolls. Because they will go out on their own and do stuff. Uh, they may not necessarily have a character with them. And uh, that comes to 175 points. So it's kept it nice, well below 200 points there. Again, so if they're wiped out, it's not a massive blow to the orcs. But key unit, two wounds each, two plus saves. There's actually eight wounds to get through there. Two plus save, uh, toughness four. I think they're, I think they're absolutely superb, and they just look so cool. This huge, huge models. So Mega Knobs are in quite happily. Uh, what I've done is uh, these guys here, the looty wagons, are actually uh, heavy support. Uh, so that's two slots used up. For the Mega Knobs, I give them a uh, looted, not a looted wagon, a battle wagon, uh, but I, they can take it as a dedicated transport, so that's what I've gone for. And this, uh, the model's in, but it has changed. Here, I'll move these out of the way. Again, you get to see these a bit later on. With the whole army together. So, there's the battle wagon. What I've done is I've, I'll just bring it over here. As you get a cap here, so it caps that off. This one and these are really just for show. And then here, I've built a custom rocket launcher platform. Very orky looking, loads of rockets sticking out. It's actually uh, one, two, three, four rockets represented on there. That slot's just in there. It's kind of this custom built thing. But again, it does actually look quite cool. So that's the battle wagon, 110 points. The amount of damage that this thing can take. Armor 14 at the front. Opponents have struggled time and again to, to bust that armor. That's its main protection. Uh, and then I'm going to use that as a nice transport for the Mega Knobs, keeping it open topped so that they can disembark and charge. And then upgrades the reinforced ram, definitely for getting through cover. Uh, five points for that. And then. You're allowed to take four rocket launchers at just five points a time. So that's what I've gone for. That's what this thing represents. Four rocket launchers uh, on this turret. So that's four shots at fives to hit. You're going to get a hit. So the idea is that uh, this moves up, moves six perhaps, uh, or remains stationary, and then uh, disembarks the guys decide they go off and charge, but this can start lending, can start actually doing something in the game. So just sitting there, you did have two big shooters, and um, I saw the potential that often it was left alive in the game, because it's just an empty transport. I thought, well, there's a potential there to have a decent gun platform. So I rate the rocket launchers. It's gonna help add towards that anti-flyer. There's an extra four rocket shots there. You know, that's equivalent to half a squad of tank busters. So four rocket shots and to support on the ground as well. You know, you've got four shots there at strength eight to take on things, armor 12, armor 11, light transports, uh, no problem at all. So uh, that's the idea. 20 points for four of them. That makes it 135 points again, kept it nice and cheap. So again, if it's destroyed, uh, no major loss. So the battle wagon is in. And it bulks out the army with lovely big model four hull points. Like that. So elites have finished. Uh, Mega knobs with their uh, with their unit uh, trucks, dedicated transports. There. So on to fast attack. Uh, Storm boys are dropped. That freed up some points. Death copters are tempting. They are nice models with the, the uh, black reach set. Uh, dropped the flyer. The, uh, the uh, Blitzer Bomber, that freed up a load of points. So War Bikers, and this is an area that, which is gonna have be a bit of flexibility in the army. Number of options I'm gonna go through here that I can go for. So I did have a mob of nine. 
One, two, three. And they're so big on the, on the table. They fill out so much space. There's the knob. And then, no. I found they're running out of a bit of steam. You know, they just need a couple more bikers maybe and they'd survive a bit better. That's what I was finding in games. Um, and it was handy just to try and, try and keep that knob alive of his strength. Seven uh, attacks out on the charge. So I've gone for, with these, I do rate orc bikers. I've actually gone for another two to bulk them out. So that's a unit of 11. Big, big mob there. Uh, decent jink on their nice toughness. So a hard unit to try and eliminate. You know, a, a, a shot absorbing unit there. Plenty of attacks for them. Nice toughness, as I said, decent gun, both for sh shooting and against flyers as well. That twin linked three shots for strength five, so you know, like armor 10 flyers could well be in trouble against these. Uh, so that works out at 198 points for 11, 10 points to the knob, uh, five points to big chopper and boss ball. That gives a total of 218, so there's a fair amount of points spent on those. They're part of the, the fast part of the army to move up quickly with the trucks uh, and then to engage um, the opponent. Nice unit to stick out on the flank perhaps as well. So here's where some flexibility, uh, two exciting possibilities here. Because I've dropped the flyer and because I've dropped the uh, Storm Boys, it's freed up two fast attack slots. So, those two slots left, I was thinking about the other day, um, these are 18 points each. If you just look across the page, a uh, War Buggy is only 25 points. So for an extra seven points, I could turn a Biker into a two hull point Buggy. Now, Advantages for these uh, is there's a number of advantages. Morale, first of all, they're handy for maybe certain objectives. They're nice and quick. They're vehicle fast, open topped. They come without flank, which is really good because the orcs are trying to push up. So it's a bit of a surprise attack from them. And then look, I can take a twin linked uh, rocket launcher free of charge. I can keep them at 25 points. 25 points is nothing. Um, and again, it might be an opportunity to do some conversion work. I reckon that if I drop six bikers like this, I'll still have a mob of five with the knob buried in there. And that's a, a handy little unit to have, could still make an impact. If I drop six, and that's a fair amount, I could take a unit four of them or Two units two. And thinking about it today, uh, there's a number of ways I could use them. I could use them as uh, cover for the bigger vehicles, so I could park them in front of uh, units like this, granting thing, granting things like the looted wagons a five plus cover. So that, that's a way of using them. They're so insignificant, the opponent might ignore them. And again, it's more strength eight shots coming through. Um, I can hang them around at the back, grabbing objectives, supporting fire, you know, just avoiding trouble. Uh, I can also use them to outflank, uh, or I can use, or I can stick them on the flanks in deployment and then just move them up. Um, and you know, a, a mob of two is 50 points. Opponent may well uh, just ignore them. So very exciting. I went on Google and typed up war buggies and the conversion work that people are doing for these. It's just, it's just superb you know i was thinking i hope games will actually release a kit it's almost as if they don't need to the conversion work that people are doing for these uh because i'm not too keen on this one uh but the uh, conversions that you see out there on the internet just look utterly superb so war buggies may well be a possibility and it will bulk the orc army i imagine four more vehicles for the orcs um just for 100 points it's nothing absolutely nothing so real possibility second possibility is to drop about eight of the bikers, seven or eight of them, it leaves a small unit, but they just become a bodyguard for a war boss. 60 points, 25 points for a war bike, 25 points for a power claw uh, and 
big shooter. And let's have a look here. No, just to swap. No, it's to keep the pistol. Just to swap out. Uh, just to give him that power claw, 25 points. 25 points for the bike. Uh, it's 110 points. And then, again, that will get me uh, that great HQ. He'll be straight, he's normal strength 5, so the power claw will be strength 10 as standard. It doesn't even need furious charge. 4 attacks, toughness 6 on the bike. Um, so, really, really good. And if I was able to save a few more points here and there and get the lucky stick, the third bike, is, he's then going to get those crucial rerolls. And it's just another decent HQ. I could do it, uh, or if I wanted to keep more bikers, I could just drop the weird boy and swap him out as an HQ. Uh, it is possible to take three HQs if I go for an orc horde detachment at the back here. You have to take three troops, which is what I've done, but it frees up. It gives you an extra HQ. I would be able to do that. So another possibility there uh, for the orcs. So there's flexibility in amongst the biker mob. So I could trim down that mob um, and go for either of those two options, and I think both of those options are really good. Very exciting. So I'll stick with it as it is, but you may well see the Orc Force adapt a little bit. So that's the bikers. We're going to Heavy next. So uh, Battle Wagon is dedicated to transport. I dropped the killer counts, 310 points saved. I almost went for Death Dread, but too slow, it doesn't really fit in with the philosophy there. Um, so, and it's controversial, but decided to keep the Gorkonaut. Now, people have said, well, he doesn't really fit in with this overall plan, but then again, he sort of does. I do want to have a big, iconic, clunking machine for the Orcs. This is the best one there is, um, you know, for one of the regular units. Uh, 145 points. I was wasting a lot of points. I was putting unit burners inside. That was 80 points. Then a, a mech or two. You know, and it's just going up and up and up in points. I'm just going to take him as he is. No upgrades. So 245 points and nothing else spent on him. No units to go inside. And he's just to sit there in the center of the army. And he's just there. If you see the battle reports, he does help out a number of times. You know, a, a demon lands nearby. Uh, or there's some space marine dreadnought going to smash through. And then he steps up to the mark. And he's able to stand up to things like that. It's five hull points. It's great for absorbing damage. He's not open topped. And then he's armed. Okay. Uh, again, two rockets here to add to that total. Um, it's got this multi-shot thing here. Um, the claw is, is really good. So I think he's all right. Um, and then he's sort of at the back as a reserve. If Gut Ripper gets gravely wounded, then uh, Gut Ripper can sneak off inside and disappear. <laughs> inside this thing so uh, and just when I mean, you look at him sitting there what an intimidating thing now imagine the rest of the orc army advancing up again this may be one of the units that the, that the opponent ignores and then if this is still alive at the end of the game at full strength you know and the opponent's options are limited then I think he's crucial and really good for anchoring maybe an objective that you have at the back just plonk him on top of an objective um, and let the opponent try and deal with him so the Gorkonaut is in for sure he is uh, 245 points, and he fills up the last slot there for heavy. Uh, the other two slots have been taken up by uh, the looted wagons. Flash gets looters, just no, maybe these for future games, because this all can't be the spare units, I'm just going to put them into the stockpile for a potential apocalypse game. You never know. You never know what may happen in the future. So, uh, totaling all of that up, uh, that comes to uh, 1850 points precisely. So, uh, what we'll do now uh, is I'm going to zoom out, I'm going to lay out the whole Orc army, and then you'll get an idea of what this force uh, looks like altogether. Right, so there they are. Uh, I've hardly been able to fit them on the screen. Uh, this Orc boy is just here, uh, and then Tank Buster is just there as well. But I mean, very happy with how it's come out. So I've got my, you know, if you go back all the way back to when I started collecting the orcs, I wanted the green skin tied and the clunky stuff behind, and we've achieved that now. So we've got a nice lot of vehicles here for the orcs, uh, and then full of uh, green skin goodness inside each one. So uh, 
each time a vehicle's destroyed, you know, units are going to pour out and fill the table out with orcs. So they, they start off not looking too much. And then actually, as units get destroyed, the army sort of gets bigger as different units are placed on the table. Uh, so the, fast, the, the faster elements, the ones that are designed to get up close as quick as possible, is all this lot here. These move very, very quick across the table. Move 12 and another 12 are flat out for them. Uh, because they're fast, you've got this one can move up quick enough. If it goes flat out, the bikers can turbo boost nice and quick up the table. And then uh, supporting units still to move up close to keep up, uh, not as quick, but still to keep moving up with the main force. Uh, you've got the uh, tank buster teams here inside their looted wagons, uh, and then the Gorkonaut as well. And then my HQs I can place uh, either in here or in here, or yeah, either inside, even with the uh, tank busters as well. So there it is uh, for the Orcs. Very, very excited about this army. Really love how it's come together. One of my favorite armies. So happy with how it's come out. The tank busters, I think, are a lovely addition uh, to the list and will have a, 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 a real function in the game as well. They're not just for show. I, I think uh, they'll do a good job. So ready to go on campaign again with these. I'll have to see, keep a look out for battle reports on both the channels. Uh, as I said, uh, there's full painting tutorial for Orcs on the regular channel here and then an in-depth painting tutorial uh, on the Plus channel. Uh, battle reports on uh, both the channels uh, coming up. So just uh, leave your comments what you think of this new list, compare it to uh, the previous one. Obviously you've got, you can see the battle reports where the previous Orc army uh, has been fighting. Um, so how well do you think this new army will do? Is there any units that you would still drop out? What units would you add in? Or would you change any configurations? Then uh, leave your comments there. But I really hope uh, this army does well uh, and that the Orcs start to work their way up uh, on the channel and really become a force to be reckoned with. A giant slayer unit here led by Gut Ripper. We'll have to see how well they do. It's exciting times. Uh, Gut Ripper's army has developed and changed. He's uh, been thinking of a plan. He is brutal and cunning, uh, but we'll have to see how well the army does. Keep a look out for Orcs. Uh, they're on the warpath once again. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.